Well, in the case of the 2005 Porsche Carrera GT, just about everything you can see, touch, and experience has the supercar superlative written all over it. Rather than base its ultimate streetcar on the 911 platform, Porsche engineers produced a machine that's as trick and technical as a Le Mans endurance racer. The heart of the Carrera GT is a super stiff monocoque chassis made of carbon fiber reinforced composites. Bolted to the rear of the cockpit structure is a carbon fiber subframe that supports the engine and transmission. Total chassis weight, a feather light 220 pounds. It's so stiff that designers were able to include removable carbon roof panels without compromising chassis integrity. This race car chassis is supported by a pure race car suspension. The Carrera GT uses push rods and double track control arms, just like the Le Mans winning Porsche GT1. All suspension components ride on five spoke magnesium wheels, 19 inches up front, 20 inches in the rear, that wear special dual compound Michelin Pilot Sport tires. Driving it all is a mid mounted 5.7 liter V10 engine. It cranks out 605 horsepower and 435 pound feet of torque. Developed from Porsche's 5.5 liter race engine, this 68 degree dry sump design utilizes titanium connecting rods and light alloy crank and cams, as well as an ultra compact multi plate ceramic composite clutch and a super smooth six speed manual gearbox that's transverse mounted for optimum weight distribution. Wrapped around these mechanical wonders are aggressive carbon fiber body panels. The look is distinctively Porsche from the 911 drawn nose with its xenon headlights past the tight athletic flanks with their huge air intakes to the wide muscular tail with a wing that rises at 75 miles per hour and a diffuser to help manage under car airflow. Airflow to the standard ceramic composite brakes is also carefully managed. The massive discs are almost 15 inches in diameter and are squeezed by six piston monoblock aluminum calipers. ABS is naturally standard as are traction control and a four channel stability system, which is good because the Carrera GT has enough power to easily unhook the rear tires if you're not smooth on the go pedal. Hit it hard and the ferocious power delivery punches you back into the seat. A 911 Turbo is the only other Porsche that comes close to the reaction of the Carrera GT. And even that monster is left in the dust by the GT's wicked acceleration. The Porsche GT is capable of 0 to 60 dashes of only 3.9 seconds and has clocked a top speed of 208 miles per hour. That's just a wink slower than the Enzo Ferrari we tested last winter. But a true supercar has to be just as quick when the road turns. And with its superb balance and the excellent feedback from both the suspension and the incredibly responsive steering, the Carrera GT positively dances through the corners. While those big ceramic brakes bite down hard, allowing you to dive deeper into the corners with total confidence than you ever thought possible. In supercar fashion, it is an easy car to drive insanely fast. On more sedate pavement, the Carrera GT feels quite civilized. The ride is very firm, only getting harsh over really choppy surfaces. The engine is extremely flexible, its wide power band allowing for easy cruising, even at low RPM. But the sensitive clutch requires just the right balance for a smooth start, making the Carrera GT ill-suited for crawling through stop-and-go traffic. If you do have to sit in traffic, however, the Carrera GT cockpit with its carbon fiber, magnesium, and leather trim is a stylish and well-equipped space that's both cutting edge and traditional. The overlapping analog gauges will look familiar to any Porsche fan. While the striking magnesium trim center console houses a Bose audio system and text and talk navigation system and clear simple climate controls for the air conditioning system with pollen filter. The driver and passenger sit in comfortable Aramid carbon seat shells covered in thinly padded leather. Adjustments are manual to save weight while the view over the hood is breathtaking. And you're protected by front and side impact airbags. Personal gear is carried in a specially designed five-piece set of luggage that fits in every available nook and cranny. Of course, if you want one of the only 1,500 Carrera GTs that Porsche will build, bring a suitcase full of cash. Base price is a mind-boggling $442,900.
If you want faster air freight delivery, that's another 15 grand. A sky-high price for one of the rarest and most sophisticated cars in the world. No matter how wonderful past Porsche efforts, the 2005 Porsche Carrera GT still surprises with its overwhelming capabilities. Yet it is also a design that never forgets that mere mortals are behind the wheel. It is indeed a supercar in every sense of the word.